So, I got obsessed with point-and-shoot cameras the other day. I, um, I got my kid one for his birthday, and so, and a friend of mine sold me two of them. And I got one of them, and I, I, I've been obsessed with them. Oh, hang on, let me start recording. There, no, we should be recording, she might be able to hear me better. But, um... Like I was saying, I got obsessed with point and shoot cameras that, you know, because I got my kid one for his birthday. And um, I will be doing a more in depth video on that in the next couple of videos on, my, on, on this channel. But the reason why I tell you this is because I'm going to start utilizing some of the point and shoots that I picked up through my vlogs. Like this one, my, uh, the other camera I'm going to use on this video is my, this one I picked up. I traded it for a um, GoPro Max. And it's the Canon PowerShot, right? The Canon PowerShot SX420IS. It's a great little camera, and this is going to be my secondary camera. I'm not sure how it's going to look. See, there you are right there. It's gotten that. And here I am, and I'm not sure. Oh, did I record? Oh, yeah, there you are right there. I'm not sure how this is going to look. But I've got to figure out how to set it up so you guys can see me as everything falls. That didn't work. And I think we've got a Jimmy rigged up, which is pretty cool. So let's move this over a little bit, get more in line. There we go. And I'll be using my Canon AA XA20 for my main camera. So, as an artist, something I hear from artists all the time is, I should get paid. But my question is why? Why should any of us as artists get paid? Just because we create something? I mean, if we're not creating something that the world doesn't want, why do we deserve to get paid? I mean, I've been making these videos for 12 years now and I'm still not getting paid. So that means I'm not doing something people want to listen to, want to watch. I mean, yes, there's a few of you out there that are watching these. And trust me, I appreciate every one of you guys because it makes me feel like I'm saying and making stuff that's worth a damn. But is it enough to actually get paid for? I mean, it's like with my woodcrafting. I make great woodcraft and I've shared it with you guys, but has anybody ever really, really bought the intricate stuff that I have? Sure, you get a lot of people saying they're going to buy it or they really like looking at it, but that doesn't equal cash flow. But the question stands is, why should I get paid? Just because I love doing it? But that doesn't mean I'm doing something that people want. And a lot of artists seem to forget this. And it's sad, actually. Because you're putting yourself out there. You are the one that is doing this. No one is forcing you to this world of being an artist. That's why the word starving artist is a thing, or the words are starving artist is a thing. And there's a lot of good artists out there that aren't getting paid for their talent. A lot of artists that had never got recognition that have influenced our world in minuscule ways. I mean, I was in a band called Rated R for the longest time, and we actually got reviewed by a professor of art at UGA as an example of what performance art is. But I bet you guys have never heard of my band Rated R, have you? No. I mean, did you guys know that I wrote poetry? I, I have many, many times before. In fact, I wrote a book that actually was reviewed by a professor of art as enigmatic and, and, and reflective of Edgar Allan Poe. But you guys have probably never heard my poetry, nor do you want to. And just because I, you know, I made this does not mean I deserve to get paid. And there's so many artists out there that will actually get mad at people for not paying them. I've heard of musicians that play clubs and they get mad because nobody shows up. Well, that's on you. You're not giving something 
that people want. So stop complaining. Are you there for the music? Or are you there to get paid? I mean, I, I really appreciate the fact that people are here. And if I've got a dollar for everybody that's on my subscriber list, I would make $200. Woo! <laughs> but I'm not expecting it. I do appreciate just the admiration. And I'm going to keep doing this. Hell, that's why I buy, still buy all these cameras. And that's why I still build stuff. And that's why I do what I do. Because I love it. But it does not mean I should get paid. It would be nice. It would be really nice. But it is what it is. So if you're an artist out there, I'm going to say this. If you're not getting paid for the work that you're doing, that you really feel that you should get paid for, then there's a couple of things that are going on. So please listen to me. I've been doing this long enough that I can guarantee if you listen to what I say, you might actually get paid. The first thing is, you're not putting stuff out there that people want. See, when I was in my industrial band, nobody was showing up. Like literally, like I just said, you probably have never heard of Rated R 1358. If you have, I appreciate that, but I doubt you have. And no one was ever showing up to our show. So I had to switch it up a little bit. I played different music. I started becoming a DJ. I did swing nights and my swing nights were huge here in Athens, Georgia. You know, and people will say, oh, you gave up. No, I didn't give up. I was still on stage. I was still performing. But now I was doing something that people wanted. Yes, it wasn't my music. I was DJing. But I was actually going somewhere with it. And I did it for 10 years. 10 years of getting paid of being a DJ. Using the same equipment I did as an uh, industrial band person. So I turned it around and gave people what they wanted. And it worked. Then, if that's not the case for you, and let's say you do a turnaround, maybe the market you're in, the area you're in, the city you're in is not working for you as well. So, maybe change your market. You know, let's say you're a writer. I mean, is being in Florida, Miami a good place for a writer? No. So you go where writers go, where you can be seen and work and collaborate with other writers. I mean, how do hype houses work on TikTok? You know, you have these like 10 TikTokers that live in one house, making video content together, exposing themselves to their other, you know, their friends fan base, which creates numbers for them. Here in Athens, the punk rock groups had a thing called the 706 Union, where they all agreed for a long time that if one band showed up, everybody that was in this 706 union would show up to that show. And it was all just made up of various Athens bands. And for a while, man, every time those bands played, people would show up. They did something that worked. They made a market for themselves. So you might have to move markets. I'm just saying, don't expect if you're an artist to be paid. If you want to get paid, you have to make sure you're putting stuff out there that people want. You got to make sure you're in a market that wants you. Just don't give up. Never give up. 